Welcome to a new episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. Today's topic is about neuroleptic malignant syndrome, NMS, versus serotonin syndrome. What is neuro neuroleptic malignant syndrome? NMS is a life threatening in response to typical antipsychotics more than, than atypical antipsychotics. Three main symptoms manifest in MNS. The first one is altered mental statute. The second one is muscle rigidity. And the third one is fever over 40 degrees Celsius. Other manifestation can autonomic hyperactivity like tachycardia and tachypnea, and of course, rhabdomyolysis and muscle breakdown, giving creatine kinase increase. Altered mental statute. Two main causes for MNS. The side effect of antipsychotic and side effect of anti-emetics. Anti a psychotic like uh, typical or atypical. If typical, it's about alloperidol, chlorpromazine, chloridazine. If it's about anti uh, atypical antipsychotic, think about clozapine and risperidol. Remember, antipsychotic is for acute agitation. The second category that co uh, side effect of anti uh, of uh, MNS are antiemetics. Among them, metoclopramide and promethazine. How to manage that? For muscle rigidity, we treat with benzodiazepine. High fever, we treat with dantrolen. And because trouble is about dopamine, we give dopamine agonist, which is bromocryptine. Acute agitation, we give alloperidol, antipsychotic. If NMS, we give agonist dopamine, which is bronchocryptine. Let's move on to serotonin syndrome. Uh, serotonin syndrome occur with serotonergic drugs. The degree of symptom can range from mild to severe. In mild, there is hypertension, fast heart rate, fever over 40 degrees. Sometimes uh, it, it reaches 41 degrees Celsius. Agitation. Increase the reflex, which is a clonus or myoclonus. Tremor, sweating, pupil dilatation, diarrhea. It can have as a, compl a seizure of complication. Serotonin syndrome, think of dilatation, pupil diarrhea, tachycardia, agitation, myoclonus, hyperreflexia. Don't forget sweet and bruxism. What is bruxism? It's a grandest death. There is also a cogwheel rigidity like in Parkinson's disease. Antidepressant cause serotonin syndrome, which are SSRI, like fluoxetine sertraline, or SNRI, like ven venlafaxine and duroxetine, and tricyclic, uh, like tofranil or anafranil. How to remember that? Serotonin syndrome, think of 
made as hotter, blind as blood, red as beet, hot as hair, and dry as a bone. I repeat, made as hotter, blind as blood, red as beet, hot as hair, and dry as a bone. What is the management of serotonin syndrome? First of all, stop the usage of prepetition drugs. Give serotonin agonists like ciproheptadine. Control myoclonus by benzodiazepine. Control autonomic instability like uh, uh, tachycardia and hyperthermia. Give activate charcoal within hour. Give serotonin agonists like ciproheptadine, but don't associate with activate char charcoal. How to make the differential between malignant hyperthermia, serotonin syndrome, and neuroleptic malignant syndrome? Symptoms for three entities are the same agitation. hyperthermia and altered mental status. To differentiate between them, malignant hyperthermia occur in minutes, serotonin syndrome occur in hours, and neuroleptic malignant syndrome occur in days. For serotonin syndrome, there is diarrhea. For malignant hyperthermia, it's a constipation. There is no change in transit for, mag for neurologic malignant syndrome. Remember, serotonin syndrome, dilatation of PP, and hyperreflexia clonus. For neuroleptic malignant syndrome, the stress is about the fever above 40 degrees, sometime until 41 degrees. Pronostic vital for this patient depend on lipertermia on the fever. Thank you for watching this episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. Would you like to click the like button? and uh, to subscribe. Your comments are very welcome. Thank you.